Like hey guys, it. welcome back to a new vlog. Say hi. hi. Our car is a mess. Don't look at that. Ignore the mess. When you have kids, your car is always a mess. But anyways, guys, today we are going to the pumpkin patch. It is a Wednesday. We decided to go during the week because on the weekends it's like super busy. And we rather go during the week. I like going to places during the week. I don't know about you guys, but I do because I hate being around a lot of people. So we are going to Mr. Bones Pumpkin Patch, which is here in LA. But let me see. Actually, I'll put the directions right here. This is their Instagram page. I actually found them through TikTok. I seen a video of a girl that went there and there's like a lot of pretty stuff to take like photo ops. So I was like, yes. I'm all about photos, you guys know that. And plus, of course, of Claire having a good time at the pumpkin patch. This is all for her, right? Yeah, it's Leo's first time going to the pumpkin patch, and we are excited. Where's Leo? Let's see if you guys see him. Leo's right here. He is over there. You guys can see him through the little mirror. <laughs> I see you see him through the mirror, Claire. He is just a chillin'. And here's this guy. He's our um, Uber that takes us everywhere we want. You see, we just hire him. And he's always here to take us, huh, babe? Yeah. And I call him babe. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, so we are all ready. We are all wearing, like, brown. We're, like, matching. I'm wearing, like, a, this brown. He's wearing, like, that brown. She's wearing the plaid brown. And Leo's wearing, like, a cute little... um played button up from Shein but anyways if you follow me on Instagram I did like a whole or TikTok I did like a little cute clip of our OOTD of the day for the pumpkin patch so definitely go look at that I'll put a little like sneak peek right here so you guys can see it so go see my TikTok or Instagram to see the rest of that video but yeah guys let's go to the pumpkin patch I'm going to show you guys how it looks that way if you guys are thinking of going to a new pumpkin patch or you're from the LA area or if you live close to here the luck the good thing is that we only live um two hours for, away from Los Angeles but from the pumpkin patch it was an hour and 30 minutes but you guys know when it's traffic it is crazy like right now we are actually stuck in the Glendale because we came to Glendale Galleria's to do some shopping um and now we're gonna go to the pumpkin patch and it's about a good freaking <laughs> i don't know it's about a good 40 minutes to get there like because of traffic <sighs> beautiful la all right let's go i'll see you guys at the pumpkin patch back to another day starting this vlog so 
We finished off with the pumpkin patch and that pumpkin patch is really fun. It's very small, which I liked because I've been to pumpkin patches where they're like super big and it's just so overwhelming. And when you have kids, it's like, do you really want to walk the whole thing and see everything? And it's just like, you don't really get to enjoy it. So I really love that it was small. What I didn't like is that it's like in the city. So it's not like out, usually when I go to pumpkin patches, they're out like in fields, like out there. This one was actually in the city. Um, we're kind of doing this thing where every year we like to visit new pumpkin patches because the ones from here in town, we've already been to them and they kind of get boring, you know, seeing the same thing over and over again. So we like to go check some other ones out. And that one was pretty cool. I highly recommend it. The, the only thing is that I said it's very small. So if you like something big, then go to a bigger one. But um, it was perfect for Claire. Like she loved everything. But yeah. Um. Yeah. I want to vlog today. Today is Sunday. I want to upload this video tomorrow, which is a Monday, to put a new vlog because I have not put out a new vlog ever since the Hawaii vlogs, and it's been a while. It's been a really long time. I've been super, super busy with like my shop and all this stuff coming up. Like Leo's birthday is coming up, and Halloween's coming up, and it's just. So much going on in my life that I'm just prepping for everything. Oh yeah, and I want to tell you guys, look, I don't have eyelashes and these are my natural eyelashes. Look how long they are. So, I've been using this serum right here called Babe Lashes. Um, I wouldn't know where to get them because I got it in the store where they sell like um, professional products for hairstylists. Ah, <sighs> So maybe if you search their brand like the internet maybe it's called babelash.com i don't know there was one day that i went in there and i seen it and they had like a before and after picture of an actual client that uses this that buy stuff like a hairstylist that buy stuff there and her eyelashes were so long from like her original ones and my eyelashes were damaged because if you guys remember i was getting sorry if i sound stuffy i have freaking allergies again and it's just they're killing me so like I was saying, do you guys remember when my eyelashes were getting an allergic reaction? I vlogged it, that they were getting an allergic reaction. And it was weird because I've been with the girl that she was doing my eyelashes for a while. And I have nowhere that my eyelashes just started getting an allergic reaction. And I think it's just my body going through so much because I've just been having allergies. Like crazy. Like they stop ever since I got the injection. But I think I need to go back for another one. I think it's already been six months. Because... I'm getting um, allergies again and they're coming back really bad. Well, anyways, I think my body's just reacting to different things now. I don't know what the hell's going on. Um, I guess the older you get, the more your body changes. So my eyelashes started getting, like the glue started giving me allergic reactions, the one she was using. So I found another girl that had the um, sensitive glue because the girl that I went to did not have it. So. I wanted to get my eyelashes before I went to Hawaii. That way I can have eyelashes in Hawaii and wouldn't have to worry about doing like my makeup and stuff over there. I found a girl that had the allergy, the sensitive glue one. Even with the sensitive glue one, I was still getting an allergic reaction. Like they were still getting swollen, but I figured out, like I Googled everything because I really wanted my eyelashes to look good in Hawaii. And I found a website that said a girl that, um, she said her eyelashes were doing that and she started using cortisone every time she would get out of her appointments she would put cortisone on there when it started swelling up this definitely put the swelling down and it went away but um i mean nobody wants to just keep putting cortisone all the time everything every time i got my eyelashes done um so i went again with the same girl that had the sensitive glue and, it, and i'm like maybe this time it won't get swollen since the cortisone kind of helped really good and it didn't get severe like the last time um but it still got swollen again so i was like you know what i need to give my eyelashes a break but i already had purchased this from the one time where i seen that my um eyelashes were really really bad when i had to remove the the other ones the first time my allergic reaction started happening i had bought this and i started applying it because i seen how little my eyelashes were they were falling out with the allergic reaction and they were so bad like they were really bad that's why i wanted eyelash extensions as well because it really damaged them so bad so i started using this when i went to hawaii like the, i bought it the, the week that we were going to hawaii and i started using it that way i know that my eyelashes were going to start getting better and i've been using it ever since and my freaking eyelashes are freaking long look at that these are like my natural eyelashes i already removed the other ones i started seeing when they were falling off that my eyelashes were long already and i was like oh my god this, so this thing actually freaking worked and i am so happy because i don't know i'm not gonna be getting eyelash extensions for a long while I don't know what my body's doing right now. My body's just being 
crazy and now like my body is just reacting to things like i'm allergic to a lot of things i don't know what the fuck i'm allergic to right now that my allergies just came back again which sucks and i'm gonna have to go get another injection um to calm them down because they've been really bad i don't know if it's something in my house giving me allergies which i doubt it because nothing is different here <laughs> like we don't have a new pets or anything unless i'm allergic to freaking leo he's the only new thing in this house um so today's Sunday and I am along with the kids. I've been along with the kids for two days because my husband's been doing overtime and I'm just freaking going insane in this house. Like I haven't went nowhere. I've just been stuck at home. Like my husband comes and he goes to sleep and then he does it again. So I was really hoping for him to come home today and not stay overtime. But they make him do that so... It's not like a choice all the time, which sucks because I really had stuff to do today. Like I wanted to take pictures for my shop, like do outfits and stuff and film a fall haul video. And <sighs> I'm going to have to postpone it for tomorrow and work tomorrow. But today I'm alone with the kids and I feel like having pizza today. Like I want pizza rib. So I'm going to get that for lunch when my husband's on his way home. That way he can have pizza with us. Like I'm going to bring you guys along for the day. All right, so making a report. I just came back from picking up pizza, but look at my makeup. I should have not done my makeup. My allergies are just taking over. My makeup is almost all gone. I just have like concealer down here. And he's home. We're having pizza rib for lunch. Slash dinner because this might be my last dinner since I'm not really hungry. This one's mine. I just put the last order. Hopefully this one's Claire's. Yeah. We got Claire a big one because last time she was mad that we got her a kid's meal. Because she loves pizza rib. I think we all love pizza rib. You give him some of yours? Mm -hmm. I was going to give him some of mine. Some of Claire's. And I don't know about him. I think it's the first time him trying pizza rib. Papa! You should have put his bib bib. Yours is right here. Oh, this one. Sit over here. And I stopped real quick and did an Old Navy pickup because I've been needing to pick those up. Let me show you guys what I got. Let me show you guys what I got at Old Navy. It's just for my husband. I'm fall shopping for everybody. So this is what I got him. He hasn't even seen it, but he's about to see it right now. So look, babe. Oh, he already knew about the other one, but I got you this color. What do you think about this color? I like it. Is it too big though? It's medium. Medium? It looks big, huh? It looks big, but that's good. I think that's how you're supposed to wear it, the like baggy and comfy. So I got them a set. I got them these sets. They were on sale this weekend. So I got them this brown set with the pants. Oh it looks God, huge. I, I think it'll fit you though. And then I got him this color, which this is the one he wanted. And we've seen them in the stores, but they were too expensive in the stores. I don't know about you guys, but Old Navy does this thing like in the stores they're not having a sale, but sometimes online they are. So before you shop at Old Navy, always look online because they have better deals online and then they have coupons. Because in the store, this literally was like, how much was this regular price? $40? I think so, yeah. yeah. $40 just for the sweater and I ended up getting it for $20 online. And the pants are $35 and I ended up getting them for $20 as well. So we definitely got a good price on these sets. So that's what I got him so far. I don't know about you guys, but I literally shop on his clothes because... He doesn't know what to buy. Never. Huh, babe? <laughs> babe? Yeah? I pick up all his clothes. And let me know if you do the same for your husband. I know my husband does not know nothing about fashion. He doesn't even care how he dresses. He would literally, like, never buy clothes if it was his choice. He'll probably be with the same clothes every day. But, yeah. But, yeah, I'm going to go eat because I need to eat some lunch. And I'll catch up with you guys a little later. Oh, my little Leo, he loves his olives, just like his sister. Okay, he has a mess. <laughs> He's eating the olives more than anything. But I think Pixar Ref was a success for him. He liked it. So far, I've been struggling with him with eating vegetables, but usually, like, when it's, like, saucy, like a pizza, he'll eat it just like his sister. Um, other than that, like, it's really hard. I have to pick and choose what he likes he's a very picky little baby that's for sure like see he had a mushroom and he dropped it he's going for the olive definitely the olive he's obsessed with them which his sister loves olives in her pizza as well he's just like her in so many ways it's crazy how alike him and his sister are 
So now I've been working on these spooky baskets and I want to show you guys a little overview. I think I'm done. I don't know yet. <sighs> um, but since Claire's home, she already seen hers pretty much. Um, I think I mentioned this on my vlog, I'm not vlog video here on my channel where I bought like Halloween stuff. Some of the stuff it's from there, but this is Claire's spooky basket and I still like want to decorate it saying Claire and this one's um, Leo's and my nephew Sebastian and then these over here. Um, I got it for my friends. So these are the glass cups right here. These are cool. Oh, I can't even get this stuff out. Oh, let me show you guys this chocolate first. So this right here, it turns into an orange like that. So it's already like cut up, but it's like a pumpkin. Um, I thought they were cute. I got these at Walmart. And then the glasses with the skeleton on there. Look at this. Cute. So I'm thinking of giving these to my friends and adding like a wine right there. I think it would be cute. Little spooky baskets. I'll show you what I've got so far for Claire. So I think I showed this one on the 99 cents store. I got this one. Um, and then I got her these like M&M's. She loves M&M's. Um, these poppet things are really popular. I actually got one for her. Um, and it's like a little vampire. These were at five and below. So I was like freaking excited about this because I was looking on Amazon like for some Halloween ones because I know these are popular right now. And I went to freaking at five and below and they had them for three dollars. So I was like perfect because Amazon was trying to sell them for seven dollars each. So I'm so happy about that. And then I got this for her to like because I'm going to give her her spooky basket the week of Halloween. So not on Halloween. I like to give it to her the week. That way she could like enjoy her stuff. Um, I got her these so she can make the, oh, I can't even focus, she can make these right here. Um, some glow in the dark unicorns, glow in the dark mask, and I actually got my nephew one of these too because last time I was talking to my sister on the phone and I wanted to talk to him and he runs to go show me his little, somebody got him like a little dinosaur one that you pop it and he really likes it so I got him the pumpkin one and I got Claire the vampire one. And I just got him like a cup and then these ducks that I showed um, and this glow in the dark little devil thing and what else did I get my nephew? Just other like little knickknacks and then Leo. Oh and I got my nephew one of these too and I got one for Leo so it's like a kind of like a wannabe kinder egg and then there's a the car inside like a Hot Wheel. Hot Wheels are really popular and my nephew and Leo love cars. So I thought this was cool to add in their little boo basket. Excited to see what kind of mini Hot Wheels in there. Um, oh, and these are from the night Dollar Tree actually. They're like little things that walk, they're cute. Got a mummy and a little pumpkin. I got that for my nephew too. And these down here, I got them on five and below. Watch, let me show you guys. Ah, I'm making a mess. These right here are so cute. I didn't know, I just thought they were cute. They're actually dog toys. But Leo likes to play with these like in the bathtub, so they're actually so cute. So I'm gonna put him in the Ooh, they squeak like for a dog toy. I got these at five and below. There were three dollars for these three. They're so cute. And then I got Leo a little pumpkin um little bear, like little not bear, little fluffy toy. And I think I'm done with Leo because he's he's a baby. He doesn't really give a damn about what the hell you got him. So I got him that and yeah, so that's pretty much it for the blue basket. I just wanted to show that in the vlog in case you're going to do a blue basket. And then I'm going to enjoy some of these right now. These are here. These are gushers that I made. I put just, I just put chamois and talco. And oh my God, my mouth is watering. And look, oh, they're so good. Oh my God, I love them so much. I usually buy them from the company Pika Pika. But I actually had some chamois from Pika Pika. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna buy gushers, put the chamois, and just put um tajin. And oh my god, they taste so good. They taste just like the ones I buy from Pika Pika all the time. So I just put them in this container since I made it myself. Oh, and then I bought these like little bags from Michael's. They're like little freaking treat bags in case Claire's school. I don't know if Claire's school's gonna do it this year where you could take like um, candies for their friends or whatever. Hopefully they do because I bought them. If not, I'll just save them for another year But I got these at Michael's and they were on sale actually The original price is $3.99 and I got them on sale. All right guys, so I'm gonna end the vlog here If you enjoyed the vlog, don't forget to give us a like But I thought I would end it already because there's really not much I'm gonna do for the rest of the day I'm just gonna 
um, go on my planner and put what I'm gonna do throughout the week because having a planner like saves my life just keeps me organized it's gonna be a really busy week because I'm gonna do some videos for my YouTube channel and also work on my shop and all this cool stuff so it's gonna be a pretty busy week but I'm gonna try to bring you guys along for the next week as well I'm almost like I'm planning Leo's birthday and on the next vlog I want to show you guys what I bought so far what I've been doing and kind of like give you guys an idea if you are planning to throw like a safari party, maybe you'll have an idea of what to get or stuff like that. So I'm planning to do a video like that too, since I'll be working on his stuff throughout the week as well. But I'm going to end the vlog here and I'll see you guys on my next vlog. Bye guys!